Tuesday and uh, it was a successful weekend very fun uh, uh, live shave thank everyone who could uh, show up we had a uh, Chatilla Luke's he gave away five aftershaves and five toners and uh, so it was a great it went like an hour and 20 minutes it was long but uh, I'm gonna shave today with uh, I tried it out yesterday George F sent me this Another one of his soaps that he sent me. Uh, this is Cold River Soapworks Select. And this is the uh, version 2 Pure Old Fresco. And I don't think it has almond oil in it. And there's something else. The difference between version 1 and version 2. A great soap. It's got a just a clean scent. It has some uh, citrus on it too. But I'm going to be bowl leather and I'm going to be using my clean shave uh, badger brush. It's got a good loft, so it'll be, it'll be good for that. But I'm also going to be using single edges this week. And uh, today's the Damaskeen. Let's see if you can see it in here. This is the original 1912 that you see everybody using. Uh, if you ever buy a 1912, uh, you know, a 19, it's like a 40s or 50s version. This is the original one. It was made in 1912 or uh, thereabouts. It comes in a box about like this. You know, if you see them. It's got the purple lining and it'll usually say Damaskeen on the blade holder. This is one of the older blades. This is not the original 1912 because it has the notches, I think. Not sure. Uh, I've done a lot of research when I got it, but i uh, kind of forgotten more than I learned, <laughs> as with everything. How y'all doing today? Hope everybody's having a great week. I see I got some new subscribers. Thank you for joining, and thanks for my old ones for sticking around. All right, so these single ages. See the notches, they all work about the same way. Make sure if you buy one, they have these notches. This blade just fits right in there. Slides on the notches like so. And you just, it's going to be kind of loud. Kind of close it. And there's a lot of pressure on that blade. And the cool thing about a Damascene is, is this catcher, this little hole down here, makes it kind of hollow. It gives that blade a little give. I'll be shaving with the Micro Max here in a little bit, here later this week, and uh, you'll be you, you'll be able to see the difference. The blade sits flat, and there's no hole up under it, so there's no give with that blade. Makes a big difference. Be throwing on some Brute with this. This is just a great, clean smelling soap. Mmm. And you know, Arlington uh, would probably go great with this. Yeah. My Arlington aftershave with that citrus. But Brute will go with it too. Using old school uh, aftershaves this week. Used Aqua Velva yesterday. Man, I hadn't used that in a while. My buddy Owen in New Zealand just got him some aqua velva. Took him a while to get. I'll have to send a big congratulations to him. That's why I used it. Been wanting to use it ever since he told me that he finally picked up some. He's been. It's a good old just aftershave that'll go with just about anything. Not very loud scented, like Brute. <laughs> In fact, I have the aftershave and the cologne of the Brute. 
Not the original though. I'd love to get a hold of uh, some, my goodness, look at that. Ooh. I'd love to get a hold of some, uh, some of that Brute Aftershave Cream that Paul H shaved with. Good. Good. So the ones who won the aftershave this weekend, it was a, uh, uh, let's say the aftershave was George F, which was only domestic, uh, domestic uh, in the U.S. because of the alcohol in it. George F, Chuck Falzon, Willie Cook, which is Chef Ch Shave, A Blunt, and Bomax. And then um, the toner, which was international, was uh, Durant Jones, Andreas Toft, Matthew Brits. Titty Biscuit, and then Hugh Hoon, I think how yeah, you pronounce that, but congratulations to all them. Uh, yeah, it was, man, it was a lot of fun. I tell you, uh, Sean Chatillon Luke's, that's a, that was a big giveaway. Ten in all. So, uh, if you could, go check out Chatillon Luke's dot com i'll leave a link below in the description um mm. such great unique scents just blends of complex they they smell one way going on and they dry another way i was really impressed with the soap yesterday it's got um Kind of just an all around solid soap. It's got good cushion, good slickness, glide. I couldn't find anything about the uh, pure old fresco. I think that's discontinued. I believe. build on top of the ladder lather when I uh, bowl ladder so I just turn the bowl as so and I kind of build it on t top in the corners I don't actually press down the brush or anything in the bowl it's kind of messy for me I just kind of let it build on top of itself Good, good sheen to it. Wonderful. This brush is the clean shave. Let me show you that. It's a best badger. It has good loft. But it's a uh, it's great for bolt leather. You know, it doesn't have the backbone that some of my other br brushes do.
So I had a really good post shave too. It's just all around great soap. I really appreciate George sending me this to try out. Like I said, this scent, pure old fresco, it smells like it just go with anything. These uh, single edges you can't bear down. You just use an angle that's less than 30 degrees and let the blade do the work. This is the uh, gem coated blade that you can get from Konok Shaving. This has a tallow and lanolin in it. Let's see where to find the top. It says tallow and lanolin and cocum and shea butter. And the ingredients, let's see, they're right here. I don't have my glasses on, I can't read them. Great feel though. I'm a big fan of lanolin. Big fan.
these uh, these single edges I usually can't go uh, with the grain and then straight against the grain especially on my chin It'll give me irritation and plus it'll make that blade jump especially on the damascene so what I do is I just hit it uh, at a side angle try to try to get it at a different angle than what than I would if I was you know shove it a shaving with a DE Even on that younger, against the grain, make sure you have that shallow angle so you're not scraping your skin. Give you bad ir irritation. Slickness. Great soap. All right. Talk about a good shaver. Damascene. My very first shaver was the. Uh, Very first uh, Essie single edge was the 1912. This was probably made in the 40s. Got the Art Deco hand, no. hand, uh, the arm. There's a difference. Ever ready started coming out with these, and um, yeah, this is a gem. A lot of different star. They all shave good, all shave about the same. It's good stuff. Jim Jr. I get to go play on trains again today. Root. What I'll do is I'll put a little bit on my face. After I get dressed, I'll uh, squirt a little bit of this on. And uh, it's got a little bit different scent, but uh, it's not like the old stuff. Not like the old stuff at all. Well, I'm going to get my mustache going and get ready for work. I hope y'all have a wonderful day, and thanks for watching. Uh, I'll probably get this posted either today or tomorrow, and I'll probably see y'all before the weekend out is out again. Um, I don't know what I'll be using. Probably just select. Is some good soap. Uh, Y'all have a great rest of the week and thank you, really. I'm Cap. I'm out.